Well, hello, everybody. Welcome back to the David Triggs Show on this beautiful day. Thank you for being here on this April. I think here it's the second day right after Easter. So happy Easter to you. But I wanted to record this video because I wanted to give you an update on kind of what we've been up to here in the Trig home, the Trig studio, Gosolandia. And what are some of the things that I'm looking forward to doing to help people accomplish their dreams and increase all their uh, all, all that you want to do in life. So I think like most of us, these last few years, it's been kind of a, a whirlwind of activity, emotions, ups and downs. <laughs> I think it was at the beginning of 2022 or mid 2022. No, mid summer, ju summer, June, summer of 2021. So two years ago, almost that we began, Rochelle and I, dealing with a lot of loss in our lives, mostly of her both of both of her parents, her mom and dad. And that's been, as you can imagine, a very, very painful two years on top of the pandemic, on top of both of us making huge transitions in our jobs. It kind of was a perfect storm, but we're now beginning to feel that energy once again, come back into our bodies to wanting to... Uh, plant, literally plant seeds of hope and of love once again. And I say literally because just this morning, my beautiful wife, you know, we're off this week uh, on spring break, but uh, Rochelle got out all of her tools and she loves gardening and flowers. And But it's been, as I said, a really tough season for both of us. But she went out there today and got on her knees, on her hands and knees and began to get all the weeds out of this garden area that she loves and she got everything ready she's literally at the uh, at lowe's right now getting some flowers to build a brand new i think she's going to call it mom and dad garden in memory in honor of her mom and dad so as you can imagine it's been very painful her dad we just had his service i think it was three four weeks ago so this is very recent very current the grieving is deep it's real and the energy is just beginning to come back to to both of us. And for me, he was the most significant figure in my life, my father and then him as a male figure, as a father figure. So both of us have been dealing with a ton of stuff, not unlike most people. I know that we're not alone in dealing with all kinds of transitions and loss, maybe not the same as we've been through, but definitely it hasn't been the easiest season for the whole world, <laughs> many of us especially those of us that are servants and creatives and people that want to help and change the world, make a difference and bring gozo, bring joy into this life. But uh, we're just beginning now to plant the seeds, as I said, of hope and love and of kindness once again. So let's do this. So what is it that has been happening besides all of that? Well, for me, I've been really growing a lot, and I'm ready to now share some of these things that I've been learning with you. First, I've been coaching. I coach two or three people right now, maybe four, in areas of transitions and of midlife, of quarter life transitions. One young person, she's in her mid 20s, early 20s, and she's about to get married. And so she's needing a lot of coaching not so much with marriage but just her own mindset and how to overcome some of her past i have another client that she's uh, more at midlife and she is going from a to b kind of like i did from career a that was very established and kind of was her thing but she knew that that wasn't the long-term uh, plan for her and so she made a huge transition over the last few years and so now I'm helping her. It's been, I think, uh, four or five months to, to persevere, to not get lost in the transition because that's very easy to happen. And then to come out on the other side stronger than ever, not just with new ideas, but with a new mindset, a new perspective on life, especially dealing with her in the area of forgiveness. So very powerful stuff. I also helped another person. That one was just a, I think we just had two phone calls. The others are more like six months or nine month uh, uh, coaching plans, but I also offered just one-on-one -on -one coaching. And so I remember I had, I think it was over the break, November, December, 
I had a lady who was about to get remarried, but her stepdad to be or new husband to be was not getting along with her 14 year old son. So they were having some conflict. And so I coached her. She got on the phone a couple of times. I remember I was on the we were at Christmas break and in Oregon. And so I remember she called and I was on the just in my room, just on the floor coaching her through some of these things. And so that was very powerful. I know it helped her a lot. So that's been huge and a huge part of uh, what's bringing me joy uh, lately, helping people through these transitions and, and et cetera. The other thing that I've been doing that's been really powerful is doing music production and engineering. So of course, as you know, I am a songwriter, I'm a musician, I love writing songs and recording my own stuff, but I've also been now uh, producing other artists the last two years or so. I think it was January of 2021, yes, January 2021, that I began to work with one, then three, then seven, then 10. Now I'm working with about 15 different artists that are creating positive Christian music, uh, Christian uh, content. And it's been amazing to learn how to work with these artists, not just me recording my songs, but to actually work with them in their projects. And then learning a ton on how to mix, how to master, how to, I've always made beats and I've always written music, but how to actually engineer a song so it sounds Spotify ready. And so the last two years, I just got in the lab and began to learn a ton. I am an engineer. I have a computer science, computer engineering degree from school. So I have kind of the, the, the mindset to tweak things and to push buttons and stuff and to help other people. And so that's been very, very uh, exciting and fulfilling for me to help these artists and to see their music come out. Amazing. It sounds great. You can hear all, all the music on my YouTube channel. You can also go to my Instagram at David Trigg and you can listen to uh, and see a lot of the sessions that we've done here at the studio, the Trigg studio. It's been amazing. I've learned a ton. I've gotten so much better at it. My production level and, and, and my production uh, I guess product has increased tremendously. I remember the first couple of songs were okay, but now they're Spotify ready. I have to say that they sound pretty amazing and I'm still learning. I'm growing every day. And so that's been amazing as well as releasing more music myself. I've been writing a ton of music. I just did one called Christmas Cloud. Speaking of the last two years, I actually recorded that song about two, three years ago and I just remastered it over the last month or so called Christmas Cloud, just to, the same thing, just to help people process kind of what this last season has been like, kind of a Christmas cloud that's come over us and how to now come out of that and, and come into the spring of our soul, literally, right? This is spring, Easter is here. And so how do we now move into this new season, not as the same people of, of before, but with new with with new pain, new scars, but also from those scars comes a lot of passion and dreams. And so I've been experiencing that. And I know that many of us have been also experiencing the same thing, but maybe you're stuck. Here's the thing. When I was at my lowest these last two years, all these challenges that we've been through, I, 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 I went to my coaches and to my therapists and to all of the resources and tools that I have accumulated over 10 years of dealing with with of, of learning how to cope and how to manage uh, all these challenges. And so by the grace of God, we were able to, my wife and I go to these tools and buy books and go to trainings and to, for me to, I had to coach myself just to help me go through some of these huge challenges of going from career A to career B and all that goes with that financial concerns and emotional things and how to stay together with not only with my beautiful wife, but with your own dreams and passions and your why, because all of that is up for grabs in some ways. You doubt everything. I know I did. And so I created a bunch of content and, and videos on some of these topics. And I'm beginning now to put them out once again and to help more people. By the way, a book that really helped me, just as a tip, if you're going through something similar that I can coach you uh, through, it's called The Happiness Curve. That's one of the tools that I use to coach people that are transitioning from A to B. It could be from career A to career B, from being single to married, from being maybe with your, your original, maybe you went through a divorce and now you're getting remarried. 
any transition that you're going through, that's my cup of tea. And as I said, I have these tools that are really powerful, the happiness curve, the Enneagram, which is an amazing personality tool that I use to help people understand kind of how they deal with stress, how to move into, into more of a peaceful state of mind by learning who they are and their tendencies. And so all these tools have been really amazing and I've been using them now for the last year or so to help and coach people. And now I'm ready to increase that and to offer all of these services to you, the audience, so that if you are stuck, if you are wanting to to get through this, this curve, this unhappiness curve and to come, come out on the other side, then this is what I believe God is preparing me to do and has prepared me to do. On the, on the flip side, I've also been subbing to make ends meet. And that's been really powerful because in some ways, it's kind of the beginning of my second half of life. Coaching, teaching, producing, all this is a big part of it. And really, that's my probably my dream as well as teaching in the church and, and serving in the church and leading worship and preaching. But as far as the uh, some kind of making everything work together and making ends meet, I've been subbing the last two, three months. And that's been so fulfilling. I didn't really know that it would be so amazing, so fun. It's, it's been challenging. I've never done it before, but I've been through also a bunch of training and I got my 30 day sub permit. I'm now working on a teaching credential and taking these exams so I can level up and teach full time. Probably going to teach computer science, maybe math, maybe music, depending on kind of what what uh, God does. So that's been an amazing journey to go from A to B and beginning to start this new journey with God and with my family, with my beautiful wife, pursuing my dreams while continuing my online uh, teaching and coaching services and and feeling kind of that that energy once again just starting to feel that energy once again to invest into other people's lives and to share my services and to open up my my shop my store to you uh, because I know that I'm not the only one that's been through what we've been through and sometimes we get stuck and sometimes we don't know what to do and it feels like you look up to God and you think all I see is darkness and clouds and and fear and worry and so this is what we're trying to do here is to help you and to not navigate this alone but to know that you're not alone I wrote a song literally called don't cry alone you can also check it out on my YouTube video and by the way if you want to sign up for my one-on-one -on -one coaching or maybe a group coaching you can go to davidtrigger.com slash coaching. The link will be here at the bottom. And that's the best way that you can interact with me and to say, hey, here's kind of what I'm needing. Here's what I'm thinking of. What do you offer? And basically what I offer are two or three different services and packages. One-on-one -on -one coaching, which is my favorite. And that can be, as I said, one phone call, two phone calls, just kind of a crisis or a certain question that you have. Or it might be what I like to do is more of, uh, of a long term coaching, six months, nine months, 12 months. And that's even more powerful because then we really can dig deep into your own history, your own goals and dreams, your own direction for life, kind of where you're stuck. If you're maybe in a hamster wheel, if maybe you're dealing with shame, with guilt, with some of these things that I mentioned before, anxiety. And so that's also available. But then I also offer, offer group coaching in the area of, of mindset, but also in music. And so all the things that I mentioned with production, perhaps you're not necessarily needing some coaching with your mindset, but you, might, you want to learn some skills just on how to, how to mix a song, how to produce, how to do what I've been doing for the last two, three, four, five years with a studio. Maybe you have something at home and you want to increase, you want to level up, you want to know how to work EQs and compression. I don't want to get too techy here right now, but you want to have your music sound better for you. Maybe you want to open a studio. Perhaps you want to just learn for your own sake how to mix and master, how to use different tools, auto-tune, EQ. Again, I don't want to get too technical here, but that's something that I offer as well. One-on-one, -on -one, group coaching through Zoom, and also we have here our Strix Studios where we offer group lessons where we can just get on a laptop, on our laptops, and I can ha I have a screen there in my our living room, and we can coach you in a group setting 
on how to mix, how to make beats, how to work with different software. And then I'm going to bring some speakers that know about rapping, about singing, R&B singers, hip hop artists, all uh, positive lyrics and very clean and very wholesome things that are that are Christian, that are helping people um, be hopeful, be filled with hope. And so I'm going to bring some artists so that it's not just one person or just us in the room, but it's we have other uh, expert uh, testimonies and, and people that are uh, producers as well as artists. And I also have other beat makers that I have access to that have said, hey, Trey, I'd love to help you put this together and maybe share my beats or share my knowledge with your audience. So we have all of these things available, both on the coaching mindset and all of that, plus as well as the production, the music, and uh, maybe you want to learn how to sing better, how to produce, how to put a song together. I write songs, as I mentioned. I've written maybe 500 songs. I've released hundreds of them. You can go to my YouTube. I've made hundreds of beats, uh, both hip hop, R&B, lo-fi, EDM, you name it. <clears throat> And so if you maybe want to learn more about that, more on the music side, so music and mindset basically are the two things that I really love to, I really want to <clears throat> help you uh, with, especially as I said, as we come out of this long winter, wow, and we're still not out of it, right? We're still kind of in the middle of it or maybe at the tail end of it, but we have to get ready for spring, for the beautiful things that are coming, maybe our lives uh, collectively won't fully shine till 2024. I have a feeling it'll be another six to nine months until we fully come alive because it's been a long winter, but we have to get ready now. We have to be like my wife who is planting seeds right now in her garden uh, in honor of her mom and dad. She was out there this morning tilling the land, getting all the weeds out, clearing out some brush and some rocks and all these uh, dead plants that have been there for a year or two and now it looks amazing ready I think she's at the store right now getting new flowers new seeds new topsoil all the latest stuff to uh, plant this beautiful garden in honor of her mom and dad and I think that's a wonderful metaphor for me for all of us we have to clear out all the brush and all of the weeds and rocks that have been accumulating in our lives for the last year or two. I have other goals, so I have to get in shape right now. My knee's been bothering me from exercising and so I have to rest. I also want to, as I said, level up in my teaching uh, in terms of the high schools is where I've been focusing lately. I also want to, uh, yeah, just get my body right. And, and, and I think that my, my mood and my emotions are, are stabilizing once again. Our finances are also better than they were before. Both uh, Rochelle and I, our marriage is strong. Uh, we're one. We're beginning to date again and go out and enjoy life once again instead of just being home in many ways, kind of, um, I guess, uh, enduring and, and coming together to weather the storm. And, and that's important sometimes. But then there's also a time... Like the Bible says in Ecclesiastes 3, a time, to, a time to cry and a time to laugh, a time to die and a time to be born. And so we're both looking forward to, in our marriage, and uh, as well as as a family, to laugh once again. And we did do that. Last year we went to Italy, we went to Oregon, we went to Hawaii. So we had an amazing year of joy last year, even in the middle of all this craziness. God was still faithful and we had a great time, but we want to do something that's more sustainable. It's not a vacation or just kind of a, a huge, awesome event, but we just want to have that long-term joy and peace in our hearts. And we're both looking forward to that as well as our amazing kids and my mom who's here visiting. So we want to help you. We, I begin, I'm beginning to feel that energy to help other people. I have been doing it, but I want to level up. I want to begin to plant seeds now into your life so that you can level up your own goals and dreams in marriage and relationships as a young person in music and mindset, whatever your, your obstacles are and whatever your goals are. And to, to help you maybe raise a family, uh, raise a godly uh, home, 
to build a godly home, to build a home that is founded upon Jesus and all of his values in this degenerate uh, generation that we live in. And perhaps it is you have you need coaching on how to stay strong in G- in Jesus in Christ as a couple, as a single man, as a single woman. If you have kids, if you don't have kids, you want to perhaps I'm sure you do. You want to raise a healthy family. Well, how do you do that? Well, we all need coaches. We all need help. We all need people that have been there that can coach us. And that's what we offer. The one on one coaching, group coaching zoom virtual training as well as in-person training here at the trig studios here in the trig home the house that worship built as we like to say we would love to welcome you here at our house and so the way you get started go to this link right here davidtrig.com coaching and we can set up a initial phone call we can just talk on the phone for 20 minutes so i can hear kind of what you need what i offer and what we'd like to do and most of all uh, get this uh get this show started get this show on the road and begin to slowly build once again strength and hope and peace and endurance into your life and share the tools that I have mentioned and to uh, grow and to get ready for the great things that are coming uh, this year but I think even more in 2024 and 2025 so really there this is just the beginning we're just beginning to get the the soil ready for what is to come in the next two three years so if you want to get ready with me and if you need coaching and help from someone who's uh, done there, been there, done that, going through it, but coming out of it and now ready to help you, then go to this link and let's get started. I'd love to talk to you, set up a phone call, just kind of a get to know each other phone call. And uh, if you do sign up, I'd like to give you a bonus. If you go to this link, you'll see the bonus there. And if you do sign up here in the month of April, in the next few weeks, I would love to offer you this free bonus that's here and to um, give you something fun a surprise that's just for you for signing up and in, in starting this conversation i want to just encourage you trust god trust your instinct trust your gut if you know this is for you if you know this is what you need to do i want to push you gently encourage you and guide you to say yes to god say yes to what you know you need and if you feel like I can help you from what you've seen of my content and, and what God is doing in my life and in my family's life, in my wife and I and our kids and all that you see, then let's get going. I'd love to help you. Okay, let's talk soon. I'll see you next time.